for the older generation, like, things are changing so fast. You know, like, my dad posted a Facebook status the other day and the status was, how do I log into my Facebook? <laughs> that's, that's how fucking confused he is about the world. Like, how do I log in, 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 into my Facebook? And I'm like, you're in, dude, trust me, you're in. But that, that'll be us. We'll be fucking retiring. There'll be technology we don't understand. You know, like, they're already talking about connecting your brain to the internet. That'll be us. We'll... We'll forget to put a thought on private. <laughs> and you'll accidentally send out big butt sluts dressed as nuns to your whole... <laughs> your whole contacts list. Someone uh, the other day on my Facebook shared a, a Nike ad, which made me really angry. I hate that shit because like, it was like a woke... You know those woke Nike ads? It was like a pregnant African woman. And it was like, Nike, the toughest athletes on the planet. She's like, that's right, everybody. Good job, Nike. It's about time people understood that African women are real and they get pregnant, OK? <laughs> but I hate that shit because Nike is like the worst corporation. Like, they just got accused of slave labour. Like, you, they just use wokeness to hide the evil shit they're doing. Do you know what I mean? Like, you just know they would have had a boardroom meeting where they're like, look, guys, we've been accused of slave labour again. We need to ramp up the wokeness. <laughs> Suggestions, what do you got? Okay, what about this? An ad, it's uh, Serena Williams playing tennis with two white women. And it's like, Nike, dream crazy. It's like, I think we could be a little more woke than that. Okay, Usain Bolt holding hands with four Asian men as they run through a refugee camp. <laughs> Nike, dreams take struggle. Good, Richard, but I don't think you understand. We need to distract from slavery here. We need way more wokeness than that. Okay, a lesbian Muslim playing soccer with a disabled Jew. <laughs> Nike, dreams unite. Better, Richard, now you're on it. I can see you're on it. More, though, I know you've got more. Okay, a, a non-binary Asian trans woman runs through a stadium of disabled Arabic men when they cross the line, boom, close up on a midget. <laughs> Brilliant, Richard, you've done it again. Brilliant. That's a little bit offensive, though. It's not midget, it's little people. Excuse me. We've been trying to get them into basketball for years. I wish they did good, but had fucked ads. Wouldn't it be better if it was the other way around? Like, people actually did actions and then said the opposite. <laughs> I would rather that, wouldn't you? You know what I mean? Like their ads are fucked, but they're doing amazing things, paying their workers, crazy shit. <laughs> but their ads are fucked. Like Michael Jordan walks out, he's like, you'll never be me. <laughs> Look at you, you fat fuck, sitting on the couch, you're drinking custard, you think you're gonna fucking put on my shoes and slam dunk, you shit, you fucking nothing. Nike, don't dream. One ad's just like, fuck off. Get fucked, cunt. Get fucked, cunt. Nike, get fucked, cunt. Yeah. It's a good one. One ad's just an arsehole opening and closing. You're like, who pays for that? That's... Like, there's no branding, it's just... An asshole appears where the news used to be for an hour. Just doing that. You're like, that's crazy. Is that, what is that, instead of the project now? Is it just an asshole? Is that Waleed? Like, what is this? Who is that? What is this, an art piece? Some ads are real sinister, like a dude with a gun walks towards camera. And he's like, we know where you live, Nike. Run. <laughs> Someone had a go at me about that bit. Someone had a go at me after a show. I was like, you're having a go at the gay community. I'm like, that's not what I was saying at all. <laughs> and then she said the weirdest fucking thing. She goes, well, boo-hoo. I drink white men's tears. I was like, that's not how you consume our power. <laughs> it's uh, way more complicated than that. We run the banks and shit. 
there's a whole thing in place. She's like, yeah, well, <laughs> there's nothing easier than being a white man. And I was like, well, why do so many middle-aged white men kill themselves? What, what the fuck does that say about our society? It's tough at the top. <laughs> there's something wrong. There's something wrong when the people that benefited from the system are sick. And I fucking, like, with the gay community, like, I'm not surprised they're sensitive, you know what I mean? Because, like, man, homophobia is still so happening. It's crazy. Every time I see, like, Christians or Muslims going, like, homosexuality is not natural. Like, man, natural is whatever nature permits. Whatever nature allows is natural. If every time I try to put my penis in a man's mouth, <laughs> it just repelled. Like, I was like, I love you, Steve, but I can't. I just <laughs> won't let me. It's not permitted. Like, you know, like two chess pieces in a travel pack where they're like, <laughs> like, I love you, but I can't. I can't. Just like running the dick at the mouth, like, oh, fuck. <laughs> You're running the dick at him. That would be, that's like nature going nuts. Nah, <laughs> that's unnatural like we can't travel faster than the speed of light because of, there's not enough processing power in the simulation but well it, well it can't be fucking zipping around to shit that isn't made yet zipping over to fucking some other part of the thing we haven't programmed that bit yet we're walking against a wall in a computer game but we can't we can't we can't travel faster than the speed of light. If when gay people had sex, they traveled faster than the speed of light, well, that, that would be unnatural. <laughs> if you're at a gay club and they're like, see you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> like just launching. <laughs> Imagine if that was the only way we could travel faster than the speed of light. That would be... Star Wars would be a different movie, wouldn't it? <laughs> Fucking Chewbacca in a sex swing. <laughs> we owe our whole fucking society to old gay Greek men. <laughs> you ever think about it like that? Ancient Greece, rational deduction, mathematics, science, philosophy, uh, individual freedom, democracy, our military tactics, our university system, our schools, all of it comes from these old... Greek men. Do you ever thank him? <laughs> Do you ever thank him? I saw an old Greek dude the other day. <laughs> I thanked him. <laughs> I went up to him and I said, hey, fuck, man, thanks for everything. <laughs> and he was like, no worries, mate. <laughs> He's like, hey, listen, these tiles, they're 50% off today, but... <laughs> Pythagoras was right, mate, you've got to cut them into triangles. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We wouldn't have America, like, you know, if it wasn't for the old gay Greek men, you know. And America has changed a lot from its original. <laughs> America is, like, let's be honest as Australians. What, like, we think, we think of Americans as stereotypes now. Let's be honest, come on. This is what we picture when we picture Americans. Hey, man, where's Iceland? <laughs> we picture fat, mentally ill lunatics with no sense of geography just going, are there burgers in Iceland? <laughs> and it's wrong. I've been over there. They're fucking great, Americans. But, you know, we think they're funny because they're so passionate about their beliefs. We think that's funny as Australians. But if anything, we suffer from the opposite problem. We're too apathetic, aren't we? That's why we did so well in COVID. <laughs> Governor was like, get in your house. We're like, yep, no worries, fine, thank you. <laughs> Stay there for a month. Yep, I'll be here a month, that's fine. <laughs> Is it okay if I watch the cricket? No, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> I'm a scared little man, I don't know who I am. In America, they're like, you won't get me in my house. <laughs> <laughs> if 
five G's turning people into pedophiles. <laughs> We're not laid back. Isn't that the fucking greatest lie we ever told the world? We're not laid back. We are the most uptight people of any country in the fucking world. If the government said tomorrow we had to wear black cocks on our heads, <laughs> fucking bullshit, isn't it? <laughs> Gotta wear a fucking black cock on my head now, have I? <laughs> fucking bull. $500 fine if you take your cock off. <laughs> fucking bullshit. I'm gonna wear it, but it's bullshit. Fucking <laughs> bullshit. I can't even fucking pick up my drink. I fucking gotta knock it over with the fucking cock in there. $500! $500! Got a speeding fine and a cock off the head fine. Can't even change the channel with the fucking bullshit. Bullshit! <laughs> if China did invade, and they didn't fuck with the footy, the cricket, Netflix, or the pubs. I didn't even know if we'd notice. That's weird, Xi Jinping's on Q&A. And there's no questions. It's just a monologue with subtitles. <laughs> we'll never elect a strong man or a strong woman like Thatcher or something like that. That's not now. We're not going to do... We have the tall poppy syndrome in Australia. We're not going to do that, are we? Let's be real, honestly. Are we going to elect someone who's like, listen to me, I'm the greatest, follow me, I know exactly what I'm talking about. These other guys are idiots. You're like, shut up, wanker. <laughs> right? That's not our voice of authority. Our voice of authority is a semi-violent, passive-aggressive question. <laughs> That's what we listen to. Like, if there was ever a dictator in Australia, it'd be shit like, hey, mates don't let mates have negative thoughts about the Supreme Leader. <laughs> Bring your family to the gulag. I can feel the middle-aged Australian rising up in me as I get older. I can fucking feel it. I'm starting to judge people's reverse parks. Like the other day, I'm like, he's fucked that. Like there's no one around. He's fucked that. <laughs> fucked it. I'm starting to tap different materials. That's, that's, you know, that's tapping people's fences. You do that, man, where you're like, that's ply. That's cheap shit. That's cheap shit. You go right through that, that's nothing. That's pine, that's cheap pine from China. Everything's about China, that's from China. <laughs> Every day, like, hang around the school, pick up my son and the other middle-aged dads are there. Like, g'day, Roger, g'day, Damien, how are you? Yeah, good to see you, mate. Yeah, just all weird, stiff, <laughs> awkward. Because <laughs> we're not a communal creature as middle-aged white men, are we? We can be real, man. We're not, we're not communal, ritual, gathering, connecting with each other in the earth. Like if you saw 40 white middle-aged men just hanging out in the park. <laughs> something fucked is happening, something. <clears throat> You're like, get back kids. <laughs> Hello police. <laughs> yep, there's 40 of them. <laughs> They're trying to connect and be friends. It's fucking weird. <laughs> It's a whole area of people. Yeah, Tim, Rod, yeah, the council's done a good job of the area, haven't they? They really sort of mowed the area. A good bit of infrastructure around. Your new path here, the new path. Yeah, it's a whole area of people going, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. yeah. Good. Alienated, I'm alienated. Don't know who I am, Tim. Uh, that's what's coming for me, um, very shortly. Had that chat every day, Roger, yeah, the sun is hot, and you know, whatever <laughs> the bullshit is. And our kids are playing. That's how you start life. Woohoo, yeah, let's play, chase me, woohoo. My son runs over and goes, Daddy, 
Could Timmy have a sleepover? Just met the dude. Not for adult shit like networking and doing coke or whatever, just... <laughs> just the pure fucking joy of the friendship at the moment, just happening. We're not doing that as adults, are we? I'm not like, yes, Patrick, of course Timmy can have a sleepover. Duh. <clears throat> what about you, Roger? <laughs> Would you like to come for a sleepover? <laughs> we could build a fort. Imagine having your 45 year old mate over for a play. <laughs> Come on, Roger, quick, the baddies are coming. Pew, 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 pew. Quick, get in the fort, Roger. I'll protect you like that time you got caught getting pegged by a sex worker. Pew, pew. Remember that, Roger, at the hotel conference? I had to protect you. You're an animal, Roger. The fort, the fort can't protect you from yourself, Roger. You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs>